Hello everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, we can finally say I think spring is here. I think it's here and hopefully with that, that means all this cold weather is gone for good. <laughs> yeah, we, we technically said spring was here for our last show, but the weather was a little bit farther behind. <laughs> so I think we're getting the temperatures now. I hope so. So, but that means a lot in your business. Mm -hmm. It does. That means that we have listings, new mm -hmm. listings that are coming on the market constantly. We have people that are deciding to go out and look. So it's a very, very active time for a real estate market. And we're getting ready to, because we've got the university here mm -hmm. and the colleges and different things like that. We're getting ready to, I guess, vacate a lot of rentals with graduation. So it's a rental season also if you're looking to rent or if you're considering maybe putting a property up to rent right now it's going to be a good time but you're going to speak about that in the real estate minute i am okay but right now we've got five listings that are for sale uh, that if you're in the market we're going to show you uh, some of those are in johnson county well, i think one in floyd and mm -hmm. a couple in pike so we've got the whole region represented today the first one is actually at oil springs it is which of course is in johnson county and this is one you're going to go out route 40 to uh, 581 and then you're on conley fork road um, I think it's actually Lyft Conley Fork Road. Mm -hmm. So um, this is one that it sits on a smaller lot. It's only about a third of an acre, but this is a completely secluded private third of an acre. This is one you can see in the pictures. You know, you're a little over 1,300 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. They did ha make sure that there was one bedroom on the first floor. Mm -hmm. So if that's of any concern, there is one bedroom on the first floor. Um, but you can look in it, it just has all that log cabin charm. You've got the wood everywhere, you've got all the detailing that kind of make it feel like a log cabin. And there are a lot of people that are going back to this more simple way of mm -hmm. living. I think that's a trend that we're seeing now. You see the tiny houses, which this is not a tiny house by no. any means. Uh, we're looking at over 1,300 square feet, but it's a more simple way uh, to live out in nature and the best part about this for me is it's adjacent to Paintsville Lake mm -hmm. and you're getting it with the amenities a lot of times you get this log cabin out in the woods and you, you have a well or something mm -hmm. like that you've got city water with this so you're close enough to Paintsville to get those amenities but yet far enough out to where you've got the privacy I think this is the best of everything yes absolutely and you can tell I mean you're gonna talk about the price here in a second but it's mm -hmm. obviously priced to sell um, with everything that, that it offers. Right, everything close to Paintsville, adjacent to Paintsville Lake, this, this log cabin, and you're gonna get it for under 90,000. Mm -hmm. So 89,000 is the listing price for this log cabin uh, in Oil Springs. So Jennifer, this is Cindy Legg's listing. So mm -hmm. let's give that Paintsville office number. That number is 606-789-8119. Okay, now moving on to the next one. This one is at Mill Branch in Paintsville, still in Johnson County, but this is one of Kathy Brown's listings. It is, and if you're not familiar with where, where Mill Branch is, it's actually the south side area. Most okay. people that are familiar with Johnson County are going to know where, that's, where that is. Um, this actually is very close to that South Side Free Will Baptist Church, so that kind of gives mm -hmm. you an idea. But the great thing is where that is located, you are pretty much in downtown Paintsville. Mm -hmm. You're right there at Mayo Plaza. You're very close to the schools, very close to restaurants, very close. You can walk downtown. And that's not even telling you about the house itself. Uh, and that's a three bedroom, one bathroom house. It is, and it is almost 1,600 square feet, so it's a very nice size house. And this is one, it's kind of set up for, you know, if you're looking for a starter home, if mm -hmm. you're a young family, something along those lines. Because like you said, it does have three bedrooms, one bath, it's got an eating kitchen, a really nice size living room. So it's one that you could actually, you know, live in, that can mm -hmm. be the main central for everybody. And then it has a fenced in yard, if you have kids, if you have pets, you've got place, you know, where they're fenced and safe. If not, you could have a garden. You could have anything like that as well. So you've got the space to do it. And we're telling you all of this, the fenced-in yard, the place for a garden and everything. And then we're going to tell you also it's still downtown Paintsville. Mm -hmm. So those are two things that don't usually go together. You usually sacrifice one or the other to have the other one and not the case in this one. Again, a 1,600 square foot home. Uh, on Mill Branch, which is practically downtown Paintsville. And the price on this one, it's not a typo. <laughs> 64 nine, 
uh, on the price on this one. So hopefully this one's not going to be one that's going to stay on the market very long. Hopefully not. And this one is listed by Kathy Brown, who's out of the Paint School office mm -hmm. as well. Her email, cbrown at rbnw.com. Just give her, shoot her an email, call that Paintsville office, you'll mm -hmm. be able to get a hold of, of Kathy and she'll get that listing scheduled. Now the next one is actually moving uh, north on 23, or mm -hmm. south on 23, and we'll go into Floyd County. We're going to go to the area of Dema. If you're familiar with Floyd County and that Martin, uh, Wayland area, anywhere mm -hmm. in that area, you're going to actually go towards Wayland and then through Wayland to the other side, and that is Dema. Right. It's got three bedrooms, one and a half bath, um, and you've got just under 1,400 square feet. So plenty of space, but not too much space. Exactly. And then when you move outside, you can see in the pictures an attached oversized garage, a two-car detached garage, additional covered parking with a shed or equipment area, you know, mm -hmm. lawnmowers, that kind of stuff. You've got a second block building that's um, storage. You've got new doors, new windows, the roof and the flooring. Um, the, the HVAC system is relatively new within four years. So those are a lot of things that, that you do worry about when you purchase a new home because you want to know how these systems are. But this one, everything seems to be relatively new. And it's a ranch home. Mm -hmm. So we'll mention that, you know, if there's any issues with stairs or steps or anything like that, you don't have to worry about this one. So a great home in the, just past the Wayland community in Floyd County. So if you're looking for anything or you would consider anything in the DEMA area, this may be one to look at. Again, another great price on this at $89,000. Uh, so this is Tom Deskin's listing. He's out of the Paintsville office mm -hmm. as well, uh, but you may want to give a different number for him. Yeah, I'll give his cell phone number at 606-793-0609. All right, now we'll end the show with a couple of listings that are your personal mm -hmm. listings. Now these are actually in Pikeville, in both of these in a great location. Yes, both of them are in the city limits and it's funny, you can almost stand at one and throw a rock to the other. So in the right. exact same uh, area. The first one is actually, a lot of people are familiar with the Poly Edition. Mm -hmm. You know where the Poly Bridge is, it's the, the walking bridge uh, there close to your office, close to the Pikeville office. But on the other side, you access it across the Cassidy Boulevard Bridge, or a lot of people know that as the Walmart intersection. Mm -hmm. So right there tells you the location, all the shopping, all the dining. But yet, in the Poly Edition, you kind of have some privacy. You it's do. It's a quiet area. It is. It's, a, it's at the very end. If you don't know it's there, mm -hmm. a lot of people aren't going to travel down there. So most of your traffic is going to be neighborhood traffic. You don't have a lot of um, extra traffic, which is a bonus. Makes it a great area for kids, pets, that kind of stuff. And a lot of people, you'll see a lot of bicyclists, mm -hmm. a lot of people running and walking. Because of the Poly Bridge, you can access downtown and all of that bypass area. So it's a, for the active community, this is a great neighborhood. It really is. And then talking about the house, this is one um, that you can actually give an accurate description by saying it's a sprawling ranch. This yes. is an over 3,000 square foot ranch home that sits on over a one acre lot that is one acre of usable pretty, very pretty property. Right, and I actually know where this house is. So the back of it backs up to almost like a little creek area mm -hmm. uh, to where Thompson Road is. Um, but like you said, every bit of that yard is usable mm -hmm. and it's got a very large yard. And I think it's got a couple areas that are fenced in. Yes. So dogs, children, play area, anything like that, you don't have to worry about uh, than getting out of that yard. Exactly. Um, and then on the inside, it offers two master suites each with a full private bathroom. Um, you could have two or three additional bedrooms depending on how mm -hmm. you laid it out. You've got office space, formal living room, a family room, um, dining room, and then a very, very nice size um, eat-in kitchen. And this is a neighborhood that these homes don't come up for sale very often. No. A lot of the people that live in this neighborhood have lived there for a long time. Mm -hmm. That tells you how nice the neighborhood is. Once people settle there, they don't leave very often. Uh, so this is a great neighborhood. Again, close to uh, the all the shopping area, the mm -hmm. Cassidy Boulevard, Pikeville Commons. So you've got all your restaurants and shopping right there, which, you know, if, if you feel like it, you can walk, jog, ride your bicycle too. <laughs> so. Absolutely, you have options. And this is your listing. This house is priced at three thirty four nine. Again, in the Poly Edition. Give Jennifer a call, um, stop by your office, you'll be able to schedule a showing for this. So let's give that Pikeville office number. That number is 606-437-2333.
All right, now, as we mentioned, but when we talked about that last listing, this next listing is very close to that. This one is at the bottom of Quail Ridge. It is. This one, the address is Meadowview Lane, but if you're familiar with Quail Ridge mm -hmm. and you're <clears throat> familiar with where Poly Edition sits, you're almost directly across the street, um, right there at the bottom of Quail Ridge, like you said. Right, so you'll be able to see, like if you're going by Tractor Supply or Buffalo mm -hmm. Wild Wings or the, the Pike County Library, this one is directly in front of you across the railroad tracks. Correct, that is correct. And this is one, you know, the house isn't very old. It was built in 1994. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, um, almost 2,500 square feet. And this is going to be considered more of an executive style home. Right. And this is one, I love that kitchen, mm -hmm. the white kitchen with the island and things like that. So, you know, when you think of family gatherings, this is a great home uh, to invite the family over to. Absolutely. And they did a lot of those renovations, especially in the kitchen. They added those granite countertops and the stainless appliances um, fairly, re you know, recently. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that has been newer. And almost 2,500 square feet. This one again, almost on an acre lot. And mm -hmm. this one has got a huge front yard. Uh, it's got a big driveway. So this is one you can drive by, or both of these two that we just talked Absolutely. about, easily uh, to drive by. And the price difference isn't much in these. So if you want to look at one, go ahead and schedule both of those in a showing. Absolutely. We'll, we'll take an afternoon and do both. Um, the other thing I want to mention on this one is it does offer a three car attached garage, which is wow. a huge selling point, especially in the city to have that extra space. So make sure to mention that. Yeah. And then you, you like you said, you've got your garage space, but then mm -hmm. there's that extra one. If you've got two cars in your family, you can store the boat or mm -hmm. uh, maybe a side-by-side -side or four-wheeler because this area too does have access to some trails and, and things like that. Uh, so a great area, if both the active community or like the executive style home, if this is something you're looking for, uh, very close to everything that Pikeville and especially the newer section of Pikeville with shopping and stuff has to offer. So this is your listing. Let's give your email address. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. The price on this one, three eighty nine, dollars very similar to the last one. Mm -hmm. So I know that a lot of times you try to do that when someone says, this is what I'm looking for, this is my price range. You can pull up three or four in an area and say, well, let's just look at multiples in one afternoon. Absolutely, and just remember, you know, if you do drive bys and you see somebody else's sign, still let us um, have the opportunity to show it to you. We can show any property that's listed um, with any agent in Eastern Kentucky. Which is another one of the many reasons why it's beneficial to hire, or not hire, but to ask a realtor to help you find. Because you know what, it's, it's a free service. Mm -hmm. to, to have a realtor help you find a home if you're looking to buy, that doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, absolutely, and you know, that's what we do. So we can easily search for what you're looking for and help you out. All right. And remember, like we mentioned at the beginning of the show, if you're looking for any kind of rental property, uh, you guys do that as well. Actually, I'm going to step out now and let you talk about that. Spring is here, and we are nearing the end of school, which means a pickup in the housing market, including rentals. RBNW offers property management services throughout Eastern Kentucky and has units available in Johnson, Floyd, and Pike Counties. In Johnson and Floyd County, we have townhomes available. In Pike County, we have units at the Pikeville Commons. The Pikeville Commons is the premier apartment complex in Eastern Kentucky, offering one, two, and three bedroom units, full kitchen appliances, including dishwashers, and a washer and dryer in each unit. Plus, we have a brand new media room and fitness facility open to our tenants. We invite you to visit Pikeville Commons Apartments on Facebook or Instagram to see videos and photos of this complex or our newly redesigned website, rbnw.com, for information on any of our rental units or homes. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Red, Brown & Williams Real Estate Show. We hope to see you again soon.